Hello and welcome pen and ink friends. We have eight winners in the viewers choice three series. Um, you guys voted and these are the eight inks that made the panel. That means that these are the eight in the order that I'll be reviewing them over the next couple of weeks. So let's just look at them and talk about them. The first one is Diamine November Rain. This is a German exclusive ink. It's a really nice dark kind of complex green with a lot of red sheening. This ink actually got 11 votes. That's quite a few votes. I've been doing this for a while. This is the third <laughs> series uh, that we where we voted and that's really good. So then the next ink that uh, won a spot was Birmingham Southside Market Boysenberry with 10 votes. Now this ink is on their production queue, which means if you like it, when you see the review, you need to go in and enter your email address to be notified when it's available. But that's their process of finding out how many want to order it. So that's good news. Okay, and then the next ink is the J. R. Bond 1790. This is the new shimmer ink. Uh, I'm, I have listened to the uh, uh, Google Translate, but I cannot say it. So it's, it's here spelled for you, but I'll just say it the way I you know, in English, uh, and it's not right, but Kyanite Du Nepal, okay? So that one, and it's interesting how it did that. It kind of kept a little bit of the pigment down there, so I can't wait to see that bath test. Okay, then uh, number four, Diamine Earl Grey, one of my daily writers, one of my favorite inks. Um, that, wait a minute, I didn't tell you how many J.R. Bond Kyanite uh, got nine votes, okay? So, so far we have 11 votes, 10 votes, 9 votes, <laughs> okay? And then Diamine Earl Grey got 9 votes as well. Um, it's, it's got that complexity, which makes it really good for uh, the Nick Stewart technique. I know that, and I use it in my bullet journal all the time. I've done a, four or five gray ink reviews. You can look at the playlist on that. Um, and there was a little bit of controversy as to whether I had done this, but if I did, it's back so far, and it's probably a poor review if there is one out there. I know I did Diamine uh, Silver Fox, which was lighter, and several others. So, okay, moving right along. The next one is Diamine Steel Blue, uh, and that also got nine votes. That, isn't that something? <clears throat> it's kind of a... Not quite turquoise, but a, a real pretty blue-green there. Okay, so then next up, this was a this was a last-minute thing where, you know, I had some of these cards lined up at, uh, about 10 minutes ahead of time, and then I got a last-minute voter. <laughs> she knows who she is. Anyway, um, Diamine Maureen made the panel because of the, the last-minute uh, voting there. Uh, so this is a Cult Pens Limited Edition. Diamine Maureen, and it's a dark blue with a lot of red sheening. So that's going to be interesting to look at. It really is. Okay, and then... Okay, so yeah, everything... The, the last minute votes, like, tiered down everything beyond steel blue or something. And it, it, it knocked right off um, one of our, our inks, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. So uh, Maureen got eight votes, and then Diamine... Tyrian blue, purple, I'm sorry, purple, here that is. Kind of a maroonish sort of, uh, maybe looking a little more maroon on the, on the uh, video camera than it is um, in life, but it's a pretty purple. Okay, that one got seven, seven votes, all right? And then uh, tied with seven was the last one on our panel, Ackerman uh, number five, Dutch Masters, Israel's... I'm going to just say the blue. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but that's a pretty one. And uh, it's gotten a lot of interest, and so has steel blue ever since I first mentioned it, I think. So, um, cool, cool. Okay, so the way it worked, the one that would have been here uh, was J. Arbon Emerald of Shavor. That got six votes. So we've got, we've kind of set up with some more for another panel. J. Arbonne, Emerald of Shavor got six. Robert Oster, Fire on Fire got six votes. And so did KWZ Monarch. And then I, then there were nine inks that got five votes. 
So it was, you know, you guys really got out to vote. I'm proud of you. I'm really happy because that kind of helps us and it'll give us material going through all the way through the fall. So this will be wonderful. So I'll be getting started with Diamine November Rain. Um, it's pretty and don't feel worried if some of these look like they may not be available because we'll look at um, inks that look the closest to them so that you'll and you'll walk away from a video on any of these with at least one idea of another ink that that might uh, you might like if you can't get a hold of um, one of these or something so um, I look really look forward to this and thank you again for voting I'll keep this relatively short because I have another video I really want to get out that's pen related today or journaling related. So I will see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.